want to explore the universe looking for what we don't know. One word, science. We all learned gravity from Newton. When we jump up, the Earth pulls us down. Newton never told us how the Earth pulls us down. Uh, and Einstein made a new theory of gravity, and inside that theory, it looks very much like electricity and magnetism. And electricity and magnetism have waves. We all live by those waves, radio waves, X-rays, microwaves, so forth and so on. In the Einstein's theory of gravity, there's also gravitational waves. They bring us the information, just like electromagnetic waves do, for anything that's gravitational instead of electromagnetic. They're different from electromagnetic radiation, and so the ways of detecting them, the way they work in nature is different, and that's part of the problem and part of the wonder. They're so weak that we didn't know if that part of the theory was correct. And once we see that it's correct, then we have the whole possibility of understanding the information they send. The fact that uh, it could be formulated in a way that it can do science that's this potentially interesting, but maybe not because we failed for 20 years, um, is to me uh, the, a very good model for how to make big advances in, in physics. For us in LIGO, we've just opened a little crack into what's there. Because it's taken 20 years to get to where we are, it's not easy for us to make a big step uh, better, but we're not limited by nature. So we know that we can make much more sensitive detectors for gravitational waves. It's not like nature is stopping us. It's our technology, our ability, our cleverness. The actual recording of this first event happened at uh, uh, 4.50 in the morning and I didn't have a eureka moment. Mine's very personal. Uh, my moment was best described by panic. Asking myself two questions. One is, how are we being fooled? And secondly, how are we maybe fooling ourselves? In our case, and in science of this kind, which is curiosity science, where we're trying to understand science, not develop a new widget. Well, one is just the fact that we push technologies harder and harder. We also are, have pushed the technology, for example, for lasers, so that more precise lasers, more powerful lasers can be built in the future because we've made them not commercially. Society has benefited by science fantastically in the last century or two centuries. And uh, much of that benefit from science has come from long-term investments, not just short-term. <laughs>